Los Angeles, California, and the rest of the world, it's me, Elric Ferris, your DJ here on Tech of Tomorrow Radio. We're featuring the latest in music of every style so that everyone is pleased. We're not only visually appealing, we're also sexually appealing. We're coming to you live from Mount Baldy with 12 million watts of power. Yes, sir, we are the number one radio station in the world, coming to you live right now from my Baldy bedroom. All right, but on the serious side, folks, you can see I'm talking this microphone just like many DJs and other people will do. Today, I'm taking a look at the SM7B by Shure. This microphone is great for people doing podcasts, great for people doing live broadcast, and believe it or not, this microphone has been used in about 40%, and that's a fair estimate of all popular recordings ever made. That's a pretty good thing for Shure. Okay, so check it out. What comes in the box of this new Shure SM7B? Well, you get a couple of things. You get the microphone and you get two different pop filters. You get the pop filter on top of my head and you get the pop filter that I'm talking to right here. You also get the mic clip and you get the thing that mounts right onto your stand so that you can put your microphone on any boom or other stand. I don't have a balanced head and therefore the second thing has fallen off. But this microphone is very good. It comes with a few great things in the box and it's ready to rock and roll and use. So far, everything that I've been doing in this review has been done recording to the new Shure SM7B. Now we're gonna take it over and we're gonna show you what it sounds like through the standard Canon camera mic and show you the mass difference there is between the two. Okay, so now we're using the onboard recorder on the Canon camera. You can hear there's a major difference between this and the Shure SM7B. While the Shure SM7B has a very clean, tight sound, what I mean by this is that you don't hear any really external noises, you don't get any of the background stuff, and you don't sound like you're in a cave. Most of the time when we're using these onboard Canon or other microphones, you sound like you're in a cave or with a bunch of background noise going on without a clear perception of the recording going on. Okay, so check it out. At the end of the day, what do you get with the new Shure SM7B? You get a microphone that has a multitude of functionality and can be used in a lot of different environments. If you're a DJ, podcaster, anybody doing any type of live recorded sound, this microphone works excellent. Also, if you're a musician, like I stated before, this microphone has been used in about 40% of the popular recordings that have been made, including the most popular album of all time, Michael Jackson's Thriller. So this microphone comes in at about $400 at your local e-tailer retailer. You can get this at Sam Ash, you can get this at Guitar Center or various other places. It's a very good mic, it's very well built, comes with just enough that you need. At the end of the day, I give it an editor's choice here on Tech of Tomorrow for all of its applications and usage value.